So, you want a Wii U this holiday? Yeah. We'll watch you. Uh. We'll make this quick. Oh, God, no. You can play Super Mario 3D World. Find secrets with the Wii U Game Pass. Yes. And Hi, you buddy, popcorn, that's a deal. All right, that's if enough. You, you get the point. Sure, the Wii U had a lot of problems, but I think we can unanimously agree that one of the big ones was their marketing. And let's push the Wii U name itself to the side as I feel like we've beaten that to death. But this is actually a department where I feel Nintendo has pulled a complete 180 with the Switch. The Wii U commercials were largely horrible. Annoying little kids squeaking about how awesome the Wii U is. You know who likes annoying little kids? Uh, other annoying little kids. You know who can't stand them? Everyone else. And this is why I love that they pushed the kids to the side in favor of mostly young adults in the Switch ads. For one, it makes the Switch look more like a device, uh, something akin to your smartphone and tablet, where the commercials for the Wii U made the system look more like one of those leap pads or something for little kids. You know, you can even feel the difference in sentiment when you just talk to other people about the systems. Like, it was almost kind of embarrassing to be a Wii U owner because of the way it was portrayed and perceived. When people saw the thing on my shelf, it, there was rarely any excitement as far as let's play something on it. But when people see my Switch, they always want to try it. And you can see proof of the heightened interest in the Switch over the Wii U uh, just by looking at the sales and heightened demand for the system in its first year compared to the Wii U. And when I was criticizing Nintendo's crappy campaign years ago, you can go back I have full videos on it from like 2013 onwards. I acknowledged those of you who felt like, well, kids are who they're trying to advertise to, so it's okay. No, it wasn't okay. You're alienating everyone else. In fact, you're dismissing the larger gamer demographics, in fact. And let's be real, a little life 101 for you guys. If you have a younger sibling, you'll know this, that little kids are always infatuated with what? the older kids are doing and what they're into. Yeah, if you had a younger brother or sister, I'm sure they followed you and your friends around and wanted to do what you guys were doing. So don't give me this crap where it's like you can only appeal to one side or the other. And I'm not saying you can't have kids in the ads. There are kids in the Switch ads, but they're not spewing stupid catchphrases and treating us to their terrible acting. And I'm not even saying you can't have ads specifically directed at children, but at least put some thought into them. I mean, if you're a 90s kid like me, I guarantee you remember that original Smash Brothers commercial with the Nintendo characters prancing through the field and then proceeding to kick the crap out of each other? It was awesome. It's still awesome. Hell, if I was working at Nintendo, I'd be suggesting we even possibly revisit that idea for the inevitable Smash Brothers release for Switch. And I do want to throw in here before I get more into the Switch's marketing that there were some high spots in the Wii U ads. I don't know if they ever made it to TV, but I like the one that was like a history of Yoshi games leading up to the release of Wooly World. A pretty awesome nostalgia trip that pumped me up for the game. And, you know, I always prefer straight up gameplay trailers, personally. Uh, the Yakuza one in Japan. I, I thought it was awesome where the guy was like playing it on the Wii U and used the gamepad to kind of hide it from his kid and wife, and then he gets caught by the wife looking over his shoulder. I thought that was funny. Would have been really cool if we uh, got that game in the West, but whatever. So yeah, I will admit there were some standouts, but overall, the Wii U's marketing message was poor, if I'm being kind. The Switch, on the other hand, has been outstanding. Oh, and by the way, the, the reason I wanted to talk about this was that one of the big Nintendo stories of the past couple days was that they spent a lot of money in advertising last month, leading the industry, in fact. I think the estimate was like they spent something around $6.6 .6 .6 million on ads. With how great and to the point they are, I normally say money well spent, but uh, the only problem here is you're still advertising something people can't buy, or at least most people. I'd say maybe take some of that money and get those assembly lines cranked up to 11. But still, it's great that they know they have something awesome on their hands and they want people to know about it. And yeah, the ads themselves, like I said, vary to the point. Not trying to set up a whole storyline like a lot of the Wii U ones did. Sure, I've stated that some of the situations are a bit obnoxious, but that's just that's the way it is these days. And that's why I still think the first spot that we saw, which was like the reveal for the Switch, was my favorite so far. 
It was much more practical, playing the thing at home, taking it on the go on a plane, playing it in the car, and then back home, etc. It kind of just conveyed that full loop of the way you'll um, use the device. But I get why they blow them out with things like the Splatoon, with the paint flying around. You want to get people's attention and you know, convey how much fun they're gonna have and how it's always at the ready, regardless of what situation you're in. Essentially, the message now is clear. You see one of these ads and you know exactly what the system does, what sets it apart from the competition, and what the games are. And like I stated before, it feels more like a high-end device as opposed to the Wii U, where people to this day, I do believe, some people out there continue to think it's just a peripheral for the Wii. And as far as who it was for, well, Nintendo kind of pushed the idea that it was just for annoying little kids that like to bug their parents. And with that, this video is a wrap. I just wanted to praise Nintendo's shift in advertising with the Switch, and I feel like that's a big reason why we're seeing such a difference in perception of the Switch over the Wii U. Again, if you've been with me since the Wii U days, you probably know how glad I am to not have to do that bitching all over again. And I'm happy that not only are they making these better ads, but they're investing in getting them out to the public. So let me know how you think the Switch ad campaign compares to the Wii U's in the comments. As always, I'm John Zakari, and thanks for watching.